Hello everybody, I am Ben from Team Panic and today, well, in front of me I have the boat from last week's video. The boat that I took on holidays and used uh, just as a bit of fun and a bit of a, a test of these um, propellers on brushless motor setups. Now, in the past I've tried EDFs, which are electric ducted fans, uh, inside combat robots. The problem with EDFs is that their static thrust is quite low. So static thrust is thrust when the actual thing is not moving. So from a standstill, EDFs have very little power, but when you get them moving, that's when they get a lot more power. Uh, obviously for a combat robot situation, that doesn't really help us at all. I mean, it could, uh, if we could get the robot moving fast enough in the direction the EDF is pointing, but uh, we're not going to be pointing these ADF forwards, at least not yet. We might get to one of those eventually, but for now, what we're going to be doing is using the EDF to get downforce. So, uh, in America, I know a lot of the arenas and stuff have a steel floor, so it's not uncommon for people to put magnets underneath their robot to make their robot heavier while on the steel floor. That type of principle is what we're going for, but we're going to use air instead. And the reason we have to do this is that in Australia, uh, metal floors are not used at all, mostly for the, um, the magnet reason, actually. Uh, so we're going to try and use some big old fans to get some more downforce. And I'm going to do this in an ant because ants are quick and easy for me to do. And I don't have enough ants, I guess. I mean, I have a lot of ants, but apparently I think I need another one. So we're going to build ourselves a... Uh, a downforce ant, and we might even just call it downforce. Uh, so I think it is time to fire up the printer, get some electronics going, and uh, bring it all back here to get it together.
Okay, so there we go. As you just saw, uh, it kind of works, but kind of doesn't. So this motor was kind of uh, freaking out a little bit on my ESC and not starting up. And then I realized by touching the bolts right at the very bottom that this motor really does not like uh, being run on 2S, which is what it's being run on at the moment. So that's, that's not good because the actual Arduino board in here needs to run onto S to actually get everything to work, um, or at least have enough uh, power to get the Arduino to boot up. So that is not great <laughs> as a start. I think I have a solution to that, and we actually have to wait for it. So I don't know if the fan was going in the right direction or not, but it added about uh, 10 grams, 30 gram, uh, 10, yeah, 10 to 30 grams worth of downforce. Uh, which is good, but the whole robot is like 20 grams underweight, so all of that, all that is doing is it's pushing us up to maximum weight limit. So what we actually need to do is probably reprint the chassis to be a heavier chassis. Uh, that way we'll get more weight uh, there, and then we'll also add an extra 1S battery, which is like the sole job of that 1S battery will be to run this fan here. Uh, and then that fan will hopefully run a lot better, fingers crossed, I don't know about that. Um, yeah, so that fan will run better, hopefully, on the 1S battery. I also need to reprint the chassis anyway because I don't actually have uh, a spot for the switch, which was a bit of an oversight on my part when we're gonna need two switches now. We're gonna need one for the ESC and one for the actual Arduino because they're gonna run on two separate systems. Um, yeah, all of this is just, it's a bit of a mess in here, as you can see. That's the other thing, it needs a base plate to keep all of these wires and things in. Um, yeah, but on the whole, it's a good proof of concept. I'm not sure now, though, whether or not I'm actually going to get it finished for January's ARC meet. If I do, then it will be in that video. If I don't, then you can expect an update video on this one uh, coming later on in the year, and then we'll actually put it into an ARC meet at some point in the future. Sorry this video has been a little short, I didn't really have a lot of time to work on this, I've been working on my other two robots as well, This Is A Party and Annie Are You Okay, getting them ready for the January meet as well, but we're kind of just doing small tweaks and changes there and you guys have seen a lot of that already, so I figured I would show you something a little bit new and something else that I'm kind of messing around with. Uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys have enjoyed that one, hopefully I can get this guy working before January's uh, ARC January meet, uh, but we'll see how we go with that, and I will see you in the next video.